Hey everyone, Paul Johnson from Waconia, Minnesota, and also part of the Laughing Trail Fly Tying Club. Today I'm going to be tying a parachute caddis. I always like to have a low riding uh, caddis pattern with, and with a parachute like this, I can actually see it on the water. So I'm going to tie this on a size 14 standard length dry fly hook. Uh, the underbody is just some light uh, hair's ear dubbing. The wing is a, a speckled tan sheet. And then I cut that out to, with a uh, caddis wing cutter from River Road Creation, so it gives it that shape. Uh, post is just some white poly yarn. The thorax is some dark brown beaver dubbing. And then it's got a, a wing with uh, just some brown rooster hackle. As I mentioned, I have a size 14 uh, standard length dry fly hook. I've got a thread, a, a spool of thread, 14 knot, dark brown. Um, and I used a dark brown just to match that dark brown thorax of the uh, beaver dubbing that I'm going to put in. Um, if you wanted to use, you know, a, a tan or a different thorax color, then you could change your thread. Now, don't overdub this body. We're just going to keep it uh, pretty sparse. But... And the other thing too is don't worry about it if it's not neat and clean. A little messy is okay here. So we're just gonna nice smooth even body. And we wanna end, you know, at, at 60 to 65, 70%, if you will, of, of on the hook shank. Let's give ourselves some space here. So this is what that wing looks like. I'm just going to lay it right on top of the hook, give it about a hook gap in length out the back. I'm going to kind of fold it over, tie that in, kind of lift up the front and clip off that excess. Now I'm going to hit this with a, a little bit of super glue. Um, it just helps to kind of hold everything together. So just kind of get in there and give that a touch with some super glue. And then I'll make some additional thread wraps to hold that all in place. So I got a little bit of white poly yarn. Tie this in here for the post. So what I do is I'll put it over the top. See if I can twist that a little bit for you. And I'm going to make three wraps this way and then three wraps this way to tie that post in and then I'll stand it upright come in front and then in the back now I'm going to kind of give it a, a twist if you will and wrap my thread up that post and I've got a little bit of a white bulge if you can see that I'm going to try to cover that up with some tying thread as I work back down and also the uh, the hackle and the dubbing will cover that up a little bit. So I've just got a brown hackle here. I'm going to tie it in right in front of the post behind the eye of the hook and then I'm going to tie that in behind the eye and then wrap it up the post. And then I'll bring my thread back down. And now I'm going to add just a little bit of uh, that dark brown beaver dubbing. And you can use any dubbing here. I just like the, that contrast from the uh, light tan body to this dark brown for the thorax. So I'm going to end up with my thread right behind uh, the wing. And then I'll just wrap this feather down the post. And then I'm going to make one wrap on top of the feather. Kind of lift it up, wrap around the post. And on the bottom of the feather, then I'm going to come around the back side and bring it up to the eye of the hook. Make a couple wraps there. And I'll do two or three half inches in there 
You can whip finish, whatever works best for you. So get my thread cut out of there. Cut that excess feather off. And then we'll trim that post down just a little bit. And there it is. Finished parachute caddis. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.